Welcome to the Best Damn Podcast. I'm your host, John Keen. As always, I would like to thank you guys for joining me. Ask that you please add, follow us, and check us out. www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash Best Damn Podcast. Also, if you're watching here on YouTube, please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell. That way you can get all of the notifications. And guys, keep in mind, we are fully funded and supported by you, the listener and the viewer. So, if you would like to support the channel, support my work, uh, and support, to be honest, one of the last real truther channels here on YouTube... Uh, you can do that by going to paypal.me forward slash the best damn podcast, venmo.com forward slash best damn podcast, or become a patron uh, for a buck a month at patreon.com forward slash best damn podcast. And as a incentive and a push for the new dot com, best damn podcast dot com. The next 48 hours, 48 hours, now, until then, all who donate will be entered to win free merch from our Teespring BDP line. Now, we are really trying to create a website that will allow us to escape the censorship and cancel culture we find on the social media platforms, right? We've been kicked from Tumblr, Reddit, suspended on Facebook, muted on Twitter, YouTube channels deleted. Our main one is still hijacked at this moment and has been for a month and a half. Um, and in order to escape that, you know, we need a safe place like a dot com. Now, most people in uh, my position, they create a .com and they charge a membership fee, right? And that's kind of like you're paying for the luxury. Well, we're not trying to do that. We want to make this free. But if we're going to be able to make one that can serve all our needs, right? Allow us to post not just photos and videos and news articles, but also to be able to have the platform that supports, you know, um, an atmosphere for chatting and, you know, all of these different things. And when you incorporate all these different things into a dot com, you know, you got to be a little bit more than a layman in order to create that. So we need help on this and uh, we are trying to launch it in the next couple days. So that's why we're going to do the merch giveaway to hopefully encourage people to support and to help us reach that goal because we have to pay someone to help us finish this dot com and do it the right way that way we can have a website free of all the rest of the crap and you know have all the bells and whistles you know to make this a community people really want to be a part of and something that you know really would be worth paying a membership fee but is free to everyone you know you're not going to see very many uh, channels doing that period and one of the reasons i feel that we can is because we're we're supported by you so if you guys can support in this goal this drive to do this then you will have earned you know no membership and i think that that's what it's all about right you give forward and you give back and it's just a, a cycle of giving you know and um it's been a rough time, a rough period over the last couple months. We really, really um, have a hard time getting support right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if uh, you guys just don't like me in this moment or what. Um, you know, maybe it's because I'm sick and uh, I don't have as much uh, charisma as usual. I, I can't figure it out. But um, hopefully, you know, with the opportunity to win some free merch, you know, everybody who donates will... You know, choose one name as random, then you'll be able to pick from the Teespring line, and we'll get that out to you ASAP. So, all of you guys, you know, if you're watching this, if you value what we do, you enjoy the content, um, 
you know, and you can help us give today, support us because we need it. Um, you know, I don't like to make these threats of not being able to continue, but it, it really, it truly is, uh, it is like that. It is close to that. Um, but I try to remain positive in what we do. But, you know, like tonight, we've got a very special treat for you guys. Hopi and G will be joining the show, joining the channel. And in order to, you know, have the guest in the video conferencing, you have to pay for the, the Zoom and the video conferencing. In order to create the content, you have to pay for the editing software, recording, all of these things, man. And, you know... We don't have the corporate sponsorships. We don't take the political handouts like all these puppet channels do, um, which allows them to do all the fancy bells and whistles. We're trying to do them, but, you know, uh, we're not getting the help we need right now. So I am calling on all, you know, BDP family. Um, hear me now. Uh, I really need your help in this moment, you know, please don't let it go unheeded. I do need you, and it'll also give you a chance to win something, whether you donate a dollar or a hundred dollars, you will be in the running, so step up, donate today, all the links to do that are in the description, it doesn't matter if you do it, PayPal, Venmo, or Patreon, it doesn't matter a dollar or a hundred, and I promise you, you know, if we can hit our goal, we will have the dot com launched in the next couple of days as well and hopefully that will coincide with the main channel coming back so should be really really good and to everyone that is you know sent the warm wishes and the get wells you know i appreciate that i've been sick as a dog no medical care uh no way to afford you know prescriptions to to fight the you know the bacterial infection it has been crap so you know, you know who you are if you uh, have, uh, you know, reached out. And um, I love you for it. And I appreciate it. So thank you, you know. And uh, I appreciate, as always, all of you guys watching, uh, sharing, giving a thumbs up, leaving your comments, joining the live chat. You know, I don't mean to go on and on, but I, I really do. And I'm humbled by it. So... Um, God bless you guys for that. You guys are amazing. So I wanted to do a quick video because tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Hopi and G will be joining the show. And it should be a really good one. We'll be doing coronavirus updates, news, politics, just all the crazy prophecies, so much. And we're going to be accepting callers. People will be able to call in, talk to me or Hopi, and the live chat will be able to present questions and things like that. So it's going to be a very interactive show. People will be able to get involved. I'll have that video up in a couple hours for you to set the reminder. Make sure that you're there, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. In this one, we are going to ask the question, are the plagues of Egypt being released here now in modern times now before you get all bent out of shape right i want to point out that the bible is not just linear and physical right it is multi-leveled multi-layered multi-faceted you know multi-dimensional because it's the spirit it's not trapped to our physical perception. So it's allegory. It's metaphor. You know, it's happening all simultaneously, spiritually, metaphysically, collectively, individually. And Egypt is a metaphor for Babylon, right? For those that are in sinful worldly ways, right? Lower self ways, ways of the enemy, uh, the, the ones that are in opposition to the father of creation. And Israel would be a metaphor for God's children, the elect, right? The children of the light. So you have to look at these things as such. Modern day Egypt is not just a physical place, right? That's one of the deceptions of this world, just like Israel is not just a physical place. You know, and that's how they have deceived the Christian church, 
right? Because now this political state called Israel, they are walking around following a satanic agenda because they just have the name Israel, you know? And a place like the physical Egypt with so much ancient knowledge and all of these things is looked at as absolutely satanic, even though there's some good there. So it's very, very misleading and deceptive because our concepts, especially with religion, seem to be limited to a physical perspective only. Now, in my opinion, the plagues are taking place now. Now, the plagues of Egypt and the story of the book of Exodus are ten disasters inflicted on Egypt by Yahweh, right? Which Yahweh was the national god of the kingdoms of Israel, Samaria, and Judah. His origins reach at least to the early Iron Age and apparently to the late Bronze. And in the oldest biblical literature, he is a storm and warrior deity who leads the heavenly army against Israel's army. Now, think about that. A heavenly army against Israel. Hmm, the God of the Bible is against Israel? Doesn't make sense, does it? Right? But that's not all that doesn't make sense. And how this goes back to ancient Samaria, right? Story of the Anunnaki, right? And we look at Yahweh, the Y-H-W-H. If you take it back to the Aramaic, it means A-U-A-I, which are the vowels. And keep in mind, there were no consonants in the word Anunnaki. So these plagues are not just a representation of the age of the destroyer or the doom planet we know as the nemesis system but they are also a sign of judgment right uh, the signs and wonders of the end times of the end of the age the last days so let's take a look at some of these different plagues and we're going to ask the question are they taking place now or do they appear to have already taken place or are about to number one is blood that is what the Lord says. By this you will know that I am the Lord. With the staff that is in my hands, I will strike the water of the Nile, and it will be changed into blood. The fish in the Nile will die, and the river will stink, and the Egyptians will not be able to drink its water. Blood. What we are seeing now, for a matter of fact, whether it is Iran, India, Russia, China, even parts of the United States, is rivers, streams, all different types of uh, bodies of water for no apparent reason turning to blood. Now, sometimes scientists will come up with some answers and they'll find traces of what appears to be iron oxide, strangely enough, that is giving these waters a blood color. Right, which if you know anything about planet X and you know the apparent details surrounding it, the iron oxide makes absolute sense considering it appears to be a giant ball of iron burning through space. But in a lot of cases, they can't find the scientific reason or explanation for why this is happening. And they'll find bacteria that's self-replicating and... Um, you know, foreign to this earth inside of this. It's literally in Syria. You know, the entire land is covered with, you know, blood rain. There is dust that's covering snow in Siberia, turning it complete, you know, blood looking. Now, you can look at the, the pictures here, and it's talking about its mold being suffocating, right? That's what's insane. Right? What's creating the bacteria, the molds, you know, the, the iron, all of this to cause such drastic changes on a global scale to turn water, blood, red. Right? Something celestial, something 
greater than the earth itself that will cause changes to the earth. You could say it's God. Yeah, maybe. But you know, in my experience, it's creation in what, what is the expression of God, the things in which that were created, right? The deities, the angels, the demons, the fallen, the winds, the seas, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, the stars, the people. That is what the expression of God is. The power of God is used through these different vessels, right? We are all but hosts of spirit. And God is a spirit working through each of these hosts, these host bodies, these dwellings we live. They all hold, you know, whatever we decide, light or dark, good or evil, but we are the vessel. We are the vessel. Do not love the world or the things of this world. This is a lower state of being, right? A lower way of existing. Yet this is the way of our world, right? It says anyone loves the world, right? They don't love the Father. But you are being conditioned in a Babylonian society we find ourselves in. And yes, the USA is Babylon. You know, we could get into why it being surrounded by three bodies of water, it having a wall, it has a statue of Isis or Libertas holding the Prometheus flame in her hand. It's a, you know, a nation... Um, of all multitudes, languages, tongues, and races. You know, there's quite a few things that it's meeting the requirements. It's intoxicating the world with its sin. It imports and exports the specific 25 items mentioned in the Bible that Babylon does, which includes souls, men, slavery, right? Yet... People are very oblivious to this. They'll tell you it's the Vatican and, you know, things like that because that's what the church or that's what they've been indoctrinated to believe. Nobody wants to believe that it is America, that it's a place that they, they think so great that they're patriots of. Two is frogs. And let's just... Think about this with the frogs, right? Where we are actually seeing, you know, frogs become hermaphrodites. You've heard of Alex Jones, you know, turning the frogs gay. Things like this. And I know people will laugh at that. But this is part of it. And there has been accounts of frogs coming up, you know, out of the water. And things like this from the weather changes, from the cataclysms. Lice or gnats. Let me pull this up. Heads up. Parents warn kids at risk of super head lice as they go back to school. Literally, guys, we're seeing super head lice, infestations of bed, bed bugs, which are forms of lice, all of these things taking place across the world. Wild animals or fires. Well, this, guys is very, very obvious, um, especially if we look at the West Coast, right? Australia, California, they are being absolutely destroyed. Wildfire smoke may cause lifelong harm. We are seeing wildfires that, unlike anything we have ever seen, unlike anything we've ever seen, burning large, large, vast amounts of land. And every time it's completely dark, you know, when it's happening or blood red in the sky when it's happening, you know, and um, people are always doing one thing, which is failing to connect the dots. Pestilence of livestock. Definitely that is happening. Mad cow disease right, uh, swine flu, um, the macabre science of mass animal die-offs, you know, you can look at the mass insect die-offs, um, 
you know, vast amounts of birds just dropping over, right? Which was probably magnetic related marine life just dying left and right. You know, we are seeing this all over the globe, right? Which fits this prophecy, which fits what it's talking about. Boils. Now, this is kind of nasty, but I mean, think about it. You know, you got measles outbreaks, right? Um, and not just that, right? Boils, leprosy, right? All of these different things, which I believe we still haven't seen nowhere near the worst and most of what we're going to see concerning that. Thunderstorms of hail and fire. Guys, the number of fireballs that we're seeing is higher than, you know, if you look from 2012 to now, right? It's not even close. The numbers literally double and triple every single year. Destructive hail and massive dust storm descends on fire ravaged Australia. You guys see the videos where, I mean, it's baseball and uh, sized hail raining down, you know, in India, Australia. It's all over the world. I mean, busting windows. You know, people literally having to take shelter from these giant ice balls hitting. You know, and then you got the fireballs that are being spotted all over the place. Uh, what the one just hit the other day in India. I mean, so they're they're literally making landfall. They're making contact. They're not just burning out before they hit the ground. Locust. This is what the Lord of the God of Hebrews says. He says, how long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go so that they may worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I'll bring locusts into your country tomorrow. And uh, the locust thing is actually wild. We've seen it where there was snow uh, in Saudi Arabia, right? The locust in Mecca, you know, which is uh, a black cube, um, kind of like an idol of Saturn. And then look, we're seeing it right here, you know, in East Africa. Right now, the locusts are going ape shit and uh, causing famine and devastation. Check it out. Of times larger than normal could soon threaten millions of people in East Africa. Officials from the United Nations are warning that it is climate change that is bringing extra rain to the region, which has led to unprecedented locust breeding. The massive swarms could emerge in coming weeks as young locusts mature to breeding age and begin hatching more youngsters themselves. It sounds scary. Officials are urging the international community to contribute millions of dollars to help control these insects. If the swarms are not stopped, it could bring wide-scale famine to Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, Tanzania, and Uganda. And you're going to have issues, of course, as usual, with people uh, fleeing areas where they cannot cultivate land. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts when you look at the uh, amount of locusts that are, you know, hitting these areas, right? Especially East Africa right now. That is crazy. Absolute crazy. And what are they doing? They're chalking it all up to climate change, right? Our worst case scenario of climate change, you know, when I think... It's pretty obvious that climate change wouldn't, if it was real, it would only be happening here on Earth. It's happening throughout our entire solar system. Pole reversals, um, ice caps melting, volcanic activity, you know, it's, it's all of it, guys. All of it, all over our solar system. Solar minimums, darkness for three days. Now, we haven't seen three days of darkness yet, but we have seen the Great American Eclipse, where it was dark from noonday until 3 p.m., right? Where literally a giant part of the world was covered in darkness, right? By these solar eclipses. And then just recently, we've seen another one, the Ring of Fire Eclipse, right? These strange eclipses that are... Um, Really unprecedented in history compared to anything that we've seen. The death of firstborn. Very strange when you look here, right? Death of firstborn because we're having a large amount of infant deaths now, right? Infant deaths increase as flu season peaks across Florida. 
But there's still time for a flu shot. Of course they're going to push pro-vaccine. But, you know, babies are dying as a result of what? These weird viruses and outbreaks and epidemics, right? These are also signs of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, right? Famine, plague, pestilence, and war. What are we told? You'll hear of wars, rumors of wars, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famine and earthquakes in various places. These are the signs why the coronavirus outbreak might be much bigger than we know. What the situation in countries like Singapore and the U.S. tells us about the risk of of global spread you know uh, the world health organization is literally labeling this as a, a global situation we hear about great earthquakes uh, the sun being turned black the moon to blood have you ever seen so many blood moons right super moons the signs and wonders and the heavens that we are warned about as well all of these things leading to one inevitable conclusion that we are in that season it said that no man knows the day or the time and i would agree right but you can know the season and if there ever was a time i mean look prophetically you know the comparisons of trump to Cyrus, right? The king of Babylon, him being on a gold coin, just like Cyrus. Naming Jerusalem the capital, because Cyrus helped them build the second temple, and now they can build the third, right? The king of Babylon. Gog and Magog, the conflict with Iran in the U.S., Right? The kings of the east, Russia and China, coming together. The conflict in Syria. All of these things, all of them are biblical. All of them are warnings, flashing lights that are saying time is short. Get yourself together. Get right spiritually. Get right with yourself and get right with your creator. Before it's all over. Before it's too late. The deception is deep. No doubt about it. They're hiding in our skies what's taking place. They're fudging the numbers on earthquakes. Uh, the, the news is nothing but narratives and cover-ups and disinformation and lies. Anyone trying to speak the truth is either killed off or censored or shut down. But you can't, you can't rely on religion either because they've been compromised. They've become that end times apostasy, the church of Laodicea. They're lukewarm. The whole world is upside down. Right? Good is called evil, evil good. All of these things were told to you, yet you still ignore I'm asking you today, friends, to just take a moment and consider. Take a moment and consider that that fairy tale, that myth you call the Bible and religion and God and all of that, maybe there is some BS to it. You know, there is a use of controlling the masses with it. But it's the truth that makes a great lie. Right? That piece of truth can spin the greatest lies ever told. And that's what's happened here. They've used the truth to spin the lies of religion and mass control and destruction and war. It's up to you. It's up to you. Right? To rightly divide and to glean the real truth. Because it's written on your heart. It's written on your heart. And understand what the time, what the season is. And what you need to do to prepare you and your family for the things ahead. 
I want to thank all of you guys for joining me. I told you this would be a short one. I don't want to take too much of your time. I want you all to enjoy your weekend. Plus tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope ENG live. Call in. Or you can jump in the chat. You know, send us a question. Everybody, participate. Be a part of it. Set your reminders. And like I said, guys, we're having a giveaway uh, for free merch. So next 48 hours, we need your help big time. You know, donate, support. Let's launch this dot com. You know, in case we're kicked off YouTube, we're already kicked off of so many other platforms. You know, don't, you know, let let the, the hammer drop and us, you know, not be ready. You know, and in order to create and launch a real deal website that will be so fun, so cool, you know, um, it, we have to pay for it. And um, we're running out of time, you know. Uh, we're getting really close to not being able to continue to do the things we've been doing because we just aren't meeting the needs, you know. People just aren't contributing. They just aren't helping. And I know that this is hard times for some. You know, but we need people to do so. Every last one of you, if you guys are watching this, you value what we're doing, you appreciate what you're doing, I'm asking you today, step up, support, you know, even if it's a dollar. Every little penny, it, it helps and it counts. And, you know, I can't think of anything more important than waking up the masses and showing people the truth, exposing these lies. And if you believe that too, you know, if you, if you believe in what we're doing, if you are with us, you know, then be with us. If you're against us, then be against us. But, you know, draw a line in the sand now, you know. Don't just talk about these things. Be a part of these things. And helping out and contributing is a way that you can be a part of it. If you don't want to speak, you don't want to share and all this, then help this way. You know, we're doing an all call because we need you right now more than ever. You know, like I said, I've been sick as a dog, but I keep pushing because it's more important than just me. You know, can't even afford the uh, medications to, to get better, but keep pushing because it's more important than just me. And every time when, it, you know, desperate situations, terrible situations, where you can't get help, you can't get what you need, you know. God reveals himself through people. He does. He really does. And um, so to those of you, and you know who you are, who have, you know, helped me in the past and, um, and who are helping now or who will, thank you so much, seriously. You have no idea how important it is to me, how much it means to me, how grateful I am, and how important this is to everyone, how big this is to everyone. I love you guys. I appreciate all you do. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and, you know, get a chance to win free merch, and, you know, um, help me out and help this channel to keep going. Donate and support today. PayPal.me forward slash the best damn podcast. Venmo.com forward slash best damn podcast. Or Patreon.com forward slash best damn podcast. I'll see you guys tonight uh, live, hopefully. So uh, remember, Jesus, the truth, and the way in life. God bless you guys. I love you. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Peace.